hey guys so in this tutorial i'm gonna teach you about the concept of lambda in python so let's get started i have opened a google collab notebook here with the name lambda tutorial which i'm gonna upload it to my github and i'm gonna link it to my um, video description so let's get started lambda functions or lambda expressions are a part of a programming paradigm known as functional programming let me um, show you what this is the documentation of it functional programming i'm not gonna go through the documentation i want to um, conclude this video as soon as possible so functional programming is a um, programming paradigm uh, which uses the concept of functions and lambda calculus while for creating a program they are very uh, uh, quite a lot of programming languages which uses the functional programming paradigm python is one of them then there is erlang exler and there is a um, common lisp and quite a lot of other programming languages as well javascript also has some functional programming paradigm with arrow functions i guess so let's move our discussion back to python so um, let me teach you how we write the lambda expression but before that let's see how we create a normal function suppose we have to we have two uh, integers and we are getting this in a function and we need to sum these and return the sum of these two integers so what we function what are the function what is the function we're going to write we're going to write def then function name which is add here we're going to write in the parentheses the uh, parameters which are going to be passed let's say them a and b then a colon for the function definition and then indentation and then the return statement return a plus b and what this function is going to return is the sum of two integers let's check this out let's um, call this function add on five and three which will return us eight and uh, let's run this it's already running okay it has run successfully now let's see what uh, is the output of 5 and 3 which is 8 very successful now let's see how we can create this expression using a lambda uh, concept so we're gonna write uh, lambda a comma b colon a plus b and now if we pass here a and b it will give us the sum of a and b which this function does exactly which this function does but there is a thing like this we have written but we how are we gonna call and we, how are we gonna pass anything any integers to this expression for that we create we save it in a separate variable let's call it add underscore l equals lambda all right let's run this now let's see how we call this add underscore l lambda expression which is same as a function as a python function we're gonna write add underscore l and we're gonna write parenthesis just same as a traditional function in python parenthesis and then inside that um, let's say this time three and four which should return seven let's run this all right so it is working as expected so now you might be thinking but what is the use of lambda expressions when we already have functions the answer to this question is for a small task just to add the uh, sum of a and b like this is just for the demo but uh, when you are actually programming you get you need to create functions for some really small tasks for example to split a string or um, if you are working with the pandas library if you know the pandas there you need to create sometimes you have to create a new column based on the previous columns for that you apply uh, you use the apply method on that um, previous column to create a new column and inside that apply func apply method you pass a function the function which takes all the values of that column uh, and 
does some transformation and creates a new value for the new column so for that if that uh, function is does a very small task you can you can like conclude this whole uh, line into a lambda function instead of creating a new function uh, if you want to show me uh, if you want me to show that i can do that as well let's import pandas as pd import pandas pandas as pd now let's uh, read a data frame i suppose in google collab we already have a few data frame yeah i'm correct we have mnsit train is small or oh, let's uh, do this with the california housing test copy this and create a new data frame df equal to pd dot read underscore csv all right um and we're gonna let's see what's there inside this df all right so there is a median house value there's a median in income then there is a households total bedrooms total rooms latitude longitude all right let's see we need to do some transformation on total bedrooms we are gonna multiply all these values by two and we're gonna save it in a new column so it's a pretty simple task but for that we traditionally we had to create a new function right but with lambda expression we can do all these things in just a simple line let's see df the new column name which i'm going to name it as um total br underscore new equals df total bedroom um no, total underscore bed uh, room bedrooms dot apply and inside apply i'm gonna pass the lambda expression lambda um let's call um the values or inside the total bedroom column as x lambda on x which is every value of the total bedroom column lambda x and x multiplied by 2 looks good yes now let's run this shift plus enter it didn't give any error neither any warnings let's see if this new total br underscore new column has been created using the lambda expression so for that we're gonna write df dot head again df dot head shift plus enter and as you can see we have total underscore br underscore new which is total bedrooms multiplied by two yes this is correct so we have seen a use case of lambda function um, why do we need lambda functions what uh, um, how we write the lambda functions so this pretty much concludes our discussion for the lambda expression or lambda function whatever you call it so um, meet you guys in the new videos bye bye